What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. We live in America, the land of the free, or at least I believe it used to be. I love this country. I was born here like many, many of you. And I think that it stands for something. It stands for the fight for freedom and what people had to go through to achieve that. Not just being black in America, but being in America in itself. You know, we went through world wars that stood for freedom. People lived and died for this country. And unfortunately, people have died and it's meaning less and less every day because we have people in positions of power who will do everything to encroach on your rights. There are politicians on both sides of the aisle who have been campaigning to systematically demean and degrade our constitution. And I've seen it for the last five, six years. It's probably, it's probably been going on a lot longer than that. But they've been after the guns. They've been after, you know, your freedom of speech, your freedom to be unlawfully searched and seized is being encroached on every single day. Stop and frisk. It's just unfortunate what's going on in this country. Another aspect of things that are bad are the fact that we have false flags attacks. False flag attacks have been going on for many, many years. It's, it's United States fact that this country has lied to get us into wars and positions of war. People have died based on the lies of this country. And I'm in the state of mind that I think that very few things happen here that are not coordinated by some agency. Now, a lot of you guys think that all these terrorist attacks are just random things. Just in the last 10 years, it's just we've gotten terror. Now we have terror. Okay, you can't fight terror because it's an ideology. It's an idea. You cannot fight terror. So it's basically, uh, for all intents and purposes, a war that cannot end because it's like saying we're going to fight anger. You can't fight anger. You can't fight happiness. You can't fight terror. Terror is an idea. And so they even worded it in a way to let you know they want this war to go on forever. But in my mind, lots of these terrorist attacks, lots of these school shootings are all, you know, uh, orchestrated by people in high positions of power in this country. It's my belief. You don't have to believe it. And even abroad. And unfortunately, people uh, over in Paris, that was a real killing or real bodies or real people who were affected by it. And for anyone who was affected by that tragedy, my condolences, my deepest, deepest condolences, because I feel like you're doing your job, you're living your day to day, and then all of a sudden your whole world falls apart or your whole life ends for nothing for the most part. And for people who are affected by it, you know, you have my condolences. But I want to talk to you guys about more of our rights being taken away and how it's systematically being done. And it's affecting gamers, believe it or not. I'll drop a link in the description. Italian counter-terrorist agents are to monitor Sony's PlayStation Network for Jihad Chatter, according to the nation's justice minister. Following alarmingly silly reports that the PS4 was used to coordinate the terror attacks in Paris, Andrea Orlando told Italian broadsheet Massagero that the government would be investing $150 million in a reformation of the nation's security services with the aim of allowing them to monitor, quote, any form of communication, end quote, with the PlayStation gaming console receiving specific attention. The Italian plans follow an article in Forbes cited by the Telegraph and the New York Times which claims, quote, an ISIS agent could spell out an attack plan in Super Mario Maker's coins and share it privately with a friend, or two Call of Duty players could write messages to each other on a wall or in a disappearing spray of bullets, end quote. That report in turn appears to have been prompted by statements made by the Belgian Deputy Prime Minister Jan Jambon. Jan Bond complained that Belgian security services and their international partners were unable to decrypt communications made through the PlayStation Network. Jan Bond reportedly claimed that, quote, PlayStation 4 is even more difficult to keep track of than WhatsApp, end quote, in this regard. His claims were made days before the attacks in Paris, however, and had to do with ISIS general attacks. It is not the first time that gaming platforms have come under suspicion from counter-terrorist powers. An NSA brief note leaked by whistleblower Edward Snowden who I think should get every award in America for letting us know the truth, uh, was titled, quote, exploiting terrorists, use of games in virtual environments, end quote, showed that spooks had discussed infiltrating the platforms due to concerns about terrorists planning their activities on World of Warcraft and Second Life. It is not clear whether any useful intelligence was ever produced through these activities. So basically, over in uh, Paris, they want to start, which they probably already are, guys, uh, monitoring our traffic, monitoring your messages, monitoring what you're saying. If they're talking about two people playing Call of Duty and running up and shooting words into a wall, that means they want to monitor and screen capture everything that we're doing. And you better believe they have the power to do it. Just keep in mind, the government is usually 10 to 15 years ahead of civilians in technology. They probably already have the technology to screen capture everything we're doing. 
You guys have been hearing for years about your flat screens, how they can look at you. All this energy, energy star shit in our house, who knows what it was capable of doing. But if they're talking about that, that means they're going to be able to watch what you're doing. So your, your privacy is going to become non-existent, if that's the case. See, the thing is, and it's very true, a person who gives up their liberty for security deserves neither, man. We should have our liberty first. We should have our freedom first. We can fucking protect ourselves. This is what happens when you let the government do all the thinking for you. They become this overarching big brother that dictates and watches everything you do. And it's scary. It's getting worse and worse and worse. I just wanted to bring this news to you guys to let you know that this is what governments around the world are planning on doing. They're already watching everything you do. You can't walk down the street without being recorded eight times. You know, you can't drive to work without, you know, 10 cameras picking up your license plate number. Now they're going to watch everything you're doing when you're playing the game online. Who knows? In the future, when they finally start cracking down on free speech, if you say a curse word on Xbox Live, you might get a letter in the mail. It's getting really bad. Unfortunately, this thing happened in Paris. I feel really bad for everybody who was affected. And unfortunately, this is the way the government wants to deal with it. They want to start encroaching on every single aspect of your freedom. Hope you guys enjoyed this news. Stand up and fight against it because I think it's wrong. Because the majority of us are not terrorists and bad people. And I don't think that they should have any right to look at what we're doing. That's just my personal view. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment. Let me know you liked it. Throw a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe today. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.